Hello, and welcome to another Warhammer 40,000 Army Showcase brought to you by the Legion Wargaming. But today, this is a Warhammer 30,000 Army Showcase, as the first of our Horus Heresy armies is ready. So today, we present to you the Great Crusades leading anger management specialists known as the World Eaters. This army uses the Horus Heresy Legiones Astartes army list and is led by a Praetor and two Centurions, one upgraded to a Master of Signal and the other upgraded to be a member of the Librarius because of course Angron could never care a tiny bit about any of the Emperor's decrees these are, as is usual for a Horus Heresy army, all Forge World models, with the Librarian himself being a conversion based upon the Red Scorpion's chief librarian, Severin Loth. But he looks pretty great as a World Eater too. These officers have brought along a command squad, and with this squad you begin to see the level of detail in this army and also the fact that every model is unique. The command squad as this is a pride of the Legion list have also brought along a land raider to carry them into battle as in the World Eaters Legion the officers are more than expected to lead the charge. This World Eaters army also has two tactical squads, although the World Eaters idea of what comprises a tactical squad is quite different from other legions. They are all armed with bolt pistols and chain axes and once again you can see the uniqueness in these Space Marines. They are wearing a mix of Mark III and Mark IV armour and both of these squads also have apothecaries to keep their battle brothers combat ready and slaughtering the foe. The main tactic of course employed by World Eaters tactical squads is to run forwards and dismember whatever they are up against in as brutal a way as possible and just as an example of the detailing this Marine has the mark of honour of the 12th Legion, the bloody palm print on his chest plate, marking him out as particularly vicious and deranged, even by the standards of his brethren. We really cannot wait to see these guys charging across the battlefield to get to grips with the enemy. But some of the World Eaters are just about able to maintain discipline in battle like the veteran tactical squad that are part of this army. They are all in Mark III iron armour but even they have festooned their bolters with chain bayonets and blades Hopefully they can give some supporting fire along with the tactical support squad. They all have melter guns. Both of these squads are mounted in rhinos. They should provide some support to their brothers charging forwards into bloody assaults. This army also contains a unit specific to the 12th Legion known as the Rampagers. These are Marines that are too mentally unstable and violent to join normal World Eater squads, which really is saying something. They are armed with gladiatorial Kaidere weaponry, including the excoriator chain axe, the barbed hook lash, and the foul axe blades. And they truly are blood-soaked slaughterers. They have also brought along a land raider to deposit them where they can do the most damage to the enemy.
Marching in support of their gore-stained brothers, we have a squad of cataphracti. Terminators. They have a mix of weaponry, reaper, autocannon, lightning claws, chain fists and power fists. And they are, again, superbly detailed. These are fantastic looking models in this squad. The Terminators are backed up by a Legion Destroyer squad. They have the retro style jump packs and they're all in Mark III armour. Very, very appropriate choice for a World Eaters army. Once again, they all have the World Eaters signature weapon, the Chain Axe. Although their tactical preferences are well known and documented, the World Eaters do still recognise the value of fire support and to that end this army has a rapier laser destroyer, some brothers in a heavy support squad with auto cannons and as well as the armour that will be transporting their brothers into battle, they have also bought two Predators. We are particularly looking forward to using the Heresy Era weaponry. Once again, you can see that these tanks are incredibly well painted and detailed. Perhaps our favourite unit is another unit that is unique to 30k Legion lists, although you do occasionally see some in Warhammer 40,000 games I suppose the Contemptor Dreadnought Talon these guys have a mix of weaponry from Havoc launchers and power fists to the dreaded Kerry's assault cannons and multi melters the detailing on these Dreadnoughts really is superb you can see this chap has the old Warhounds icon still on his armour and he is also stepping on a salamander who is desperately reaching for a melter bomb. These guys are so characterful and so well painted. They really do form an impressive unit as part of this army. And finally when this army is used in Horus Heresy games, we could not leave out the man himself, the Lord of the Red Sands, the Primarch Angron. Busy dismembering some more salamanders. He is a truly terrifying addition to this army. We love the model. We love the way it's painted and detailed. It is fantastic. And we're very much looking forward to using Angron in Horus Heresy games. But we will not just be using this army in games of Warhammer 30,000. We rather like the idea of warbands recognisably from specific traitor legions emerging from the Eye of Terror after 10,000 years to wreak vengeance upon the hated Imperium so these guys will be showing up in games of Warhammer 40,000 and in fact our next campaign will feature them as the main protagonists what could make the Grey Knights and the Raven Guard pull out of a campaign against the Tau well the chance to strike back at the hated traitor legions is certainly high on the list for the loyal space marine chapters we are so pleased with this army we pride ourselves that all of our armies are well painted here in the legion studio but we feel that specifically the world eaters have come storming in and seized the top spot. The level of detailing, the uniqueness of pretty much every model in this army really makes it a striking force.
the mix of Mark III and Mark IV armour along with the Deimos pattern vehicles, the Phobos pattern Land Raiders, unique squads like the Rampagers and the Contemptors, Cataphracti Terminators. This army has a very antique feel that we think will look fantastic in games of 40k. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and we will keep producing as many Warhammer 40,000 videos as we can. See ya!